Welcome to Access, my name's Nathan, and in this video we want to talk about the tech specs of the new PlayStation 4, the PS4 Pro. PS4 Pro will be out on the 10th of November, and as you probably already know, the new machine offers technical improvements over the original PS4. What you might not know is exactly what's changed, and what those changes mean for the experiences you can expect to enjoy with your console. Let's take a look. System architect Mark Cerny describes the PlayStation 4 Pro as a mid-generation update that enhances the existing design of the PS4. As such, the Pro's internal architecture is very similar to the original PS4, but is reconfigured to offer significant performance advantages. The GPU, the graphical processing unit, is based on the same design, except the Pro's is double the size, with the original unit effectively working next to a mirrored version of itself. This enables perfect playback of the existing 700 plus library of PlayStation 4 games, the Pro just uses half of the GPU. But it also gives the Pro a significant boost in graphical processing power, from the standard PS4's 1.84 teraflops to 4.20 teraflops. And the system memory is also the same, 8 gigs of GDDR5 RAM, but this time running at 24% greater bandwidth freeing up 512 megs of memory to help improve resolution and frame rates. There's also an additional gigabyte of standard RAM, DDR3, to hold things like Netflix in memory to free up extra GDDR5 RAM just for games. These improvements mean that the Pro is able to offer improved performance on PS4 titles even on a standard 1080p display. Horizon Zero Dawn, for example, is taking advantage of the Pro's power to offer super sampling, essentially producing an image bigger than the normal 1080p and then shrinking it down, preserving some of the extra detail. But perhaps the biggest change is that the Pro's additional processing power enables it to offer dynamic 4K gameplay and to take advantage of HDR technology. What does this mean? 4K is relatively simple. It refers to the resolution of the image being shown on your TV or display. You're used to enjoying HD graphics. On PS4, that means 1080p, 1080 vertical pixels, and 1920 horizontal pixels. This is known as Full HD. 4K is sometimes known as ultra high definition and refers to there being almost 4,000 horizontal pixels in the image. The standard, as adopted by the television industry, is 3,840 by 2,160 pixels, twice the horizontal and vertical resolution of 1080 and four times the number of pixels overall. HDR, on the other hand, can be a little harder to envisage. It stands for high dynamic range, and it's basically a technology that enables the display of a wider bandwidth of colors and a greater range of contrast, offering brighter whites, deeper blacks, and a more true-to-life image than traditional displays. Although HDR is about color and contrast, HDR images also preserve more of the detail of source images than are normally lost through color compression. This means greater clarity, especially in combination with 4K output you'll need an HDR compatible TV for this. There are other minor changes to the PS4 Pro. There's a third USB port at the rear of the machine. In addition to the standard PS4's 2, the HDMI connections have been upgraded to HDMI 2.0 to pave the way for 4K output, and there have been improvements to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth standards. But the crucial difference is the added processing power and the ability to offer both HDR and 4K images across games and other entertainment services. PS4 Pro is designed to enhance the experience of players using existing 1080p HD displays, but also to offer something to those who own the upcoming line of new Ultra HD 4K HDR displays too. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions about PlayStation 4 Pro in the comments below. Like this video if it was helpful to you, and don't forget to subscribe for more from the world of PlayStation.